we've kind of seen an explosion of people trying to solve this parts identification issue from a technology perspective. And, you know, we've seen different apps roll out, different uh, software platforms, integrations with telematics, like all kinds of of things. And, and it's almost at this point, like there's a bit of overload there, but there still seems to be a core issue, which is it's very difficult to narrow down all the variations. So, you know, even if you were to be able to get the data from the OEM, uh, let's say you got the Bendix data from Bendix and it was accurate, that doesn't necessarily always correlate to the Kenworth truck sitting in front of you versus the Freightliner and the variation in 2016 on on one option or another, right? So, so parts identification, despite all of the technological advances, still seems to be a problem. Well, there's a whole other layer that you didn't mention, right? And that is, and that is, how many iterations of this truck have, have since it was produced to where it is right now, right? Did it was it used as a roll off, and now it's a tractor, and then it was a dump truck? You know, how many lives has this truck lived? And what did they do? Uh, the the you know the ownership throughout you know what have they done and to change the suspension to you know for the requirements you know for that particular application and uh, all those types of things and so it's definitely complex. I mean, you have to almost have the vehicle or the part in front of you to make sure that you're giving them the right thing uh, the first time every time. Yeah, uh, no, you're absolutely right. And uh, when I was selling in northern Alberta, we were very very heavy oil and gas, but in 2016 the oil prices kind of the commodity prices collapsed here in Canada and it was real tough times for about two years there. And so we had all kinds of oil uh, fleets that were in oil and gas and they were re-rigging their trucks to go logging. And then three years later, right? Like the, the, the cycle on logs goes and oil and gas comes back. So then they, they rig again. Right. And you're absolutely right. Every time they rig that, that truck for a specific vocation, and that's predominantly driven by the fact that these are work vehicles. These are assets that have to be out in the field making money. Otherwise, why do you even have them, right? So no, that, that's definitely um, something that adds to the complexity of it. 